Hello everyone, this is Nathan Grayson with Kotaku. Um, today I'm going to play a game called Eidolon, which we've written about a little bit, but I kind of wanted to explore a bit more at length. Um, a couple things about that. For one, um, I'm kind of going in blind here, which I, I feel suits this type of game because it's about exploration and discovery, and so I think maybe it'll be a little bit better if I kind of take it on its own terms that way. Um, hopefully that will all be entertaining. If not, I will cut out the boring parts using creative editing. So with that said, let's dive in. So just initial observations. Um, the art style is very clean and minimal. The game itself is about survival, but uh, I have heard that it is a little bit less frantic than other survival games, less about, you know, monitoring a bunch of stuff and freaking out that maybe I'm going to die, and more just about kind of exploring the environment with a slight hint of the possibility of death. So, you know, kind of like real life. Yeah, from a from a visual standpoint, it reminds me a lot of a game called Proteus, which also kind of used this painterly style, emphasized nature. I don't think this is how trees work in real life. I could be wrong, though. big mountain back there. Very nice looking. It's all very nice in a minimal sort of way. Hey, there's a thing off in the distance glinting at me. In other video games, that would mean it's a sniper scope. I don't think that's what it is here, because that would be a pretty weird thing to put in this kind of game. I'm apparently cold. Oh, neat. I got a fishing rod. Not really sure how to fish, but I assume I just need to hold this down until that thing starts bobbing. I would like a fish. Would a fish be interested in being eaten? Yes, it would. Thank you, fish. Cool. Fish times one, and I can eat it. Not hungry enough. Fine then. I'll have fish later. That will show me. So yeah, there's basic survival mechanic number one, I guess. You need to eat. It seems like temperature also plays into your well-being. I doubt it's a good idea to swim. Though I kind of want to try. Yep. My character is nice and cold. In this beautiful, knee-deep lake. 
really more of a very big puddle. Freezing. Okay, I should probably stop doing that. Maybe I can make a fire or something. interesting though um, if you read our article about this the the sort of crux of it was that this is a survival game without kind of some of the main tropes of the genre so things where you know enemies you got to deal with things like zombies or what have you or even you know in the case of Minecraft crafting at least on a large scale oh my god that's a fox sorry I'll explain more later I want to chase this fox no come back I just want to hug you and tell you how much I'm going to love you forever. It can be a very low commitment relationship though, I don't require a lot. Mostly fox hugs. Which is why I've had no luck on OkCupid so far. That, that's, that's a tree, I think, or maybe you just kind of stopped running, I don't really know. I've seen screenshots of this game where the main character is holding a bow and arrow, and so now I'm suddenly and probably appropriately terrified that I'm going to have to hunt these foxes eventually. That just sounds unappealing to me. Hey, a mushroom. Also, I apologize for this being the most scattershot video ever. One subject. Hey, another thing. Hey, another thing. Hey, another thing. But anyway, as to what I was saying earlier, lack of enemies or crafting, things like that, on the one hand it's very peaceful, but on the other hand, not a whole lot's happening yet. Walking around, scavenging, saw a fox. Gen itself is kind of neat, because it's like, when you have nothing going on, the significance of seeing that one thing is a lot greater. In another game, like if I just saw an animal running around in, I don't know, Skyrim or something, it's like, yeah, okay, animal. But in this game, it was really exciting. Granted, one could say that that's because beforehand I was bored. I wasn't quite bored, but I could see how someone might be in, the, in my shoes. Oh, gotta get to the shiny thing before I take a nap. Where all this leisurely walking tires me out. Cool, I got a bow and arrow. I can shoot things. Now this is actually a video game. First, it is sleep time. Thy very song is not in thy songs. No special strains to sing. None for itself. From the whole resulting, rising at last and floating. A round, full-orbed Eidolon. Orbed. Orbed. Yeah, I gotta say, so far these survival, survival elements have been very light. Let's eat and sleep. Do them as you please. And don't get cold. this. Neat. A note. Okay, so to sum that up, people left to go adventure and hunt, and that is the gist of that note. I imagine we'll be hearing more of their story as we progress through the game. So I can do this now. Very nice cartoon bow and arrow. That's really nice. 
can just sit here and stare at it. Or, since this is a video game, we can shoot arrows at it and see if it'll die. Alright. The sky did not die. But shooting arrows futilely into the sky, perhaps at whatever cruel god put us on this earth, is hungry work. So let's go ahead and remedy that with a small handful of mushrooms before continuing on our journey to no one knows where because they're blind. Oh no. I heard a fox. Oh. I don't want to shoot you. I really like you. So you're a fox. Foxes are cool. But like, I think I'm supposed to. And I have a bow and arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna feel really bad about it immediately afterward and I'm just gonna be inconsolably sad for the rest of this video. <sighs> okay, tiny forest creature. Let us pray my aim is really bad because I still don't really know how to use this bow yet and my mouse currently sucks. He disappeared. Oh no, he didn't disappear. Oh, why did I do that? Man, nature sucks. Nature is the worst. Okay, I'm not going to shoot any more foxes. If there's something mean, I'll shoot it. Like... I don't know if there's like a bear or like a really shitty taxi driver. I'll shoot those. Or if there's a forest terrorist. Oh man. Jeez. That's just so pretty. Like I don't know if the significance of it is really getting across because I'm playing this on a fairly large monitor and you are in all likelihood watching it in a tiny YouTube window but like when you just walk from a forest into some of these views into some of these really gorgeous open vistas it's just like well, it's like being underwater for a really long time then coming up and breathing it's like whoa whoa that thing that I used to take for granted is just really incredible right now I guess what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> nature doesn't suck all the time just when it makes me kill foxes the the second fox I've seen the entire time I've been wandering this landscape what if what if there were just two foxes here and they were like the last foxes and they only had each other and I killed one of them what if that's the score in this beautiful post-apocalypse? Like, if that were actually the case, I think I would spend the rest of this game trying to find ways to hurl my character off mountains. Like, yeah. Birdies! And that's how you distract me from a dark ex existential monologue.
Wait, did something just move down there? Maybe my eyes were just playing tricks on me. Also could have been a graphical glitch. Nope. Oh, goodness gracious. Ah, I was only joking about it earlier. Huh. Well, I'm glad the bear was just like, I hope you learned your lesson and left. Okay, I ate a fish, but I'm wounded. That's no good. I don't really know how to fix those. Uh, maybe I can just sleep it off. Or maybe it will do nothing. Also, I'm fucking hot. Not hot keying, because I'm not using keys for it. I'm just going to have my proverbial hand on my bow at all times now, because if another bear shows up, he and I are going to have combat transactions. Fighting growls. I'm going to shoot him is what I'm trying to say. Oh my. Uh, well, anyway. So I just fell down a cliff. Into cold water. I'm suddenly reminded of a time way back when I was but a small child in Boy Scouts. And I got very lost in the woods. And what was, for all intents and purposes, actually a very easily, like, a very nicely marked campsite. It was difficult to get lost. I would say most people would need to try to get lost in that setting in order to actually get heinously lost. But I just, I just did it. And, you know, emerged from the woods all scratched up and wounded in need of a walking stick. So, I'm not a very good survivalist, is I think what I'm trying to say. And you may be seeing evidence of that here, based on the fact that I'm now cold, bleeding, and just not really in good circumstances. Um, let's eat a fish. I'm hungry enough, never mind that. Let's make a fire. That should help me with the cold. character enjoys standing in fire. Okay. Not cold anymore. That's good. But it's dark. So I'm going to sleep and hope I don't get mauled by another bear while doing so. Cool. Hungry again. Ooh. Cooked fish. Yeah, okay. Smother the fire. There's nothing bears hate more than fire as evidenced by Smokey. What did I find here? So after more or less completing my journey east, I found the ruins of something. It appears to be, at least it was at one point, a little village. Now I would say it's very likely abandoned, given that it's overgrown and it's not really in any sort of well-kempt state. Also there's ominous organ music in the background that doesn't usually say things are going great. Oh, and they 
had some sort of like town hall thing here. With hints as to what they were about. Alright. For the purposes of those playing along at home, I'm gonna read this. It's been half a moon since, spelled like sins, interesting. We left our blood in the storm and shadow of night. We avoided trackers and guards and all possible dangers lie now ahead of us instead of behind, and so finally we come to stop for more than a few hours. They don't like ease in this universe. Oh wait, I think that's the one from earlier. Okay, apologies, let's jump over to the other one, which is new. And really hard to read, goodness. Weekly... Weekly sermon notes for February... What year is that? 789? I can't tell. Explain I haven't been in this holy... something. Spinous our humility, example to follow... Major loss of hunters... Something of the father... Many vigilant, and most importantly, all our family. Loss of food, loss of structure, and loss of faith. Strength, something of survivors, those left behind. And then there are two Bible passages on there. Plus, it is the man who remains something, something, something. So this isn't a town hall. This is probably a church. Let's try the other one and hope that it's more legible. It is. My name's Danica Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay. And I write this today, year of our Lord 218, as a remembrance of the old town and how it came to its final. I am now, it's possible, the only bodied soul in all of Eden, a truth not known since Adam's day, for these last near thirty years since the so-called Great Pilgrimage our numbers have fallen, me being the youngest left. It's true I took it on me to provide a new generation, but it wasn't God's will, no, and me I've stayed the youngest till now, I am the last last, presumably, and I don't plan to be the last for long. Yes, Old Town has lived long, but now it must fall and become another ruin, the last ruin. I write today that it not be forgotten. Hmm. This is really venturing into spoiler territory, so I think I'm not going to read any more of it out loud. Um, you're welcome to pause and read the rest for yourself if you want to. Interesting, though. Lots of biblical allegories. Things falling apart. Clues as to the time period. A lot to sink your teeth into here. A lot to learn about this place. So since I just kind of wanted to introduce people to this game and what it's about, I would say this is probably a good point to leave off. It's been an interesting little journey so far. If nothing else, I want to learn more about what happened here. Find some more ruins. It's also a very relaxing game. I could definitely see myself playing this a lot more after a long, hard day or something. Just to kind of chill out and unwind. Think about something that's, you know, not day-to-day -day existence and or shooting dudes. So yeah, there's your intro to Eidolon. Let's end on this nice little view of a stormy dusky moment. So yeah, that's me signing off.